Hi everyone, my name is Divya. I'm working as an integration developer in TJ Software Solutions Private Limited. Today I'm going to explain you about the configuration of my company and trading partner. Uh, before going to explain the my company and trading partner configuration, let me explain you about the trading partner component. Ah. Trading partner component uh, is used to uh, integrate uh, in, uh, integrate between the B2B customers uh, from the Boomi. Uh, to communicate with the B2B customers, uh, first we have to design the host partner and remote partner uh, using a communication protocol. Now, host partner is nothing but my company and remote partner is nothing but trading partner. Uh, to communicate with these, uh, we need a communication protocol. Before going to configure the trading partner and my company, first we have to know few details. One is standard, the second one is transaction version and type, third one is communication channel, and fourth one is sample data. In this example, I'm going to use X12 standard, 4010 version, and 850 transaction type. 850 is nothing but purchase order tra transaction type. And the communication channel is disk. And coming to the sample data, this is the uh, sample date of purchase order. Uh, here we can see different lines. Each each line we can uh, we, uh, we can indicate as a segment. Uh, segment is nothing but the group of data elements. These data elements are separated by uh, one uh, special character. We can call it uh, that special character as a delimiter. Here we are using star as a delimiter. So this is a star delimiter 850 transaction type. To configure the my company and trading partner, we have to uh, we have to use these details from the sample data. So to uh, to configure the authorization information, we have to uh, fill this call fair and ID using ISA 01 and ISA 02. Uh, for the security information, we have to use ISA 03 and ISA 04. Coming to the interchange ID, it is different for both sender and the receiver. Uh, how can we uh, how can we no, uh, which uh, is my company is the sender or receiver. So uh, before that, uh, we can do two types of transactions using Boomi. One is inbound transaction and other one is uh, outbound transaction. In, uh, in inbound, we are receiving the data uh, from the trading partner. So my company is the receiver and the trading partner is the uh, sender. Uh, in terms of outbound, uh, my company is sending the data to the trading partner. So my company is the sender and trading partner is the receiver. So uh, based on that, we have to fill this interchange uh, interchange details. Uh, for sender, we have to give the ISC 05 and ISC 06. For receiver, we have to give the ISC 07 and 08. In this example, I'm going to explain you about the inbound transaction. So for that inbound transaction, my company is the receiver. So we have to fill with the ISA 07 and ISA 08. Coming to the ISA control options, uh, for interchange standard, we have to give the ISA 11. Uh, for interchange version, we have to give it ISA 12. Uh, and for interchange acknowledgement request, we have to give the ISA 14. If ISA 14 is 0, we have to uncheck this box. Uh, if ISA 14 is 1, we have to check the box. And uh, for test indicator, we have to give the ISA 15. We, ha uh, we have two, uh, two options here. One is test and one is production. Based on the data, we have to give the uh, value here. And uh, for component separator, we have to give the ISA 16. And coming to the GS control options, so for this application code also, it is different for sender and the receiver. For sender, we have to give the GS 02. For receiver, we have to give the GS 03. Uh, uh, in this example, uh, we are using the, uh, my company is the receiver. So we have to give the GS 03 value. And uh, for responsible agency code, we have to give the GS 07. For GS version, we have to give the uh, GS 08. Like this, we have to... Uh, configure the my company and trading partner using these details. Uh, uh, let us go, let us go to the Boomi ones. Here I have already configured the uh, one process. Uh, so for inbound transaction, we have to use the trading partner start sheet. Uh, communication method, we are, we are using the disk. So I, I have selected the disk. We have different types of communication methods. I'm using the disk communication method. Coming to the my company. Uh, so like I explained, we have to fill all these details. IAC uh, authorization, security interchange ID, and the control options and GS control options. So after this, uh, in contact info, we can uh, give the contact details here. Coming to the communication, I'm using the disk. 
So uh, for inbound, we are receiving the data um, from the uh, training partner. So we, we have to configure the get options. Uh, for outbound, we are sending the data to the training partner. So at that time, we have to give the send options. For directory, we have to give the uh, directory, uh, directory name and file filter and file matching type. A maximum file story, delete files after reading. If you want to uh, delete the uh, delete the files after reading, we can check this box. And uh, coming to the data processing options, uh, in Boomi, uh, we can use this data process shift for different options, for, for different operations, like uh, uh, for combining, for splitting, and for zip part, unzip, for encrypting, for decoding, and encoding. Like that, we can use this data process properties. Uh, if you want to do any, uh, any that, the type of operations we can use this data processing options here if we want to archive the data we can uh, we can select this box and uh, coming to the where used uh, here we can uh, track the uh, my company uh, in which process we are using uh, we can find from here and uh, coming to the trading partner so uh, as my company, uh, we have uh, we have ISA identification options, control options, GS control options, and in trading partner we have one more section, basic external options. In this basic external options, we can uh, give the uh, details of acknowledgement and uh, document envelope option and element delimiter, segment terminator character, and the filter functional acknowledgement. Like this, uh, based on the requirement, we have to fill these details. And ISA, uh, ISA identification options and control options, GS options. As we explained, uh, as I explained, we can give the uh, we can give the details from sample data. And coming to the communication. Uh, here, uh, so for my company, we are using the uh, disk communication, right? So. Uh, in my in in trading partner, we can, uh, we have these three options: communication settings. Use all defaults, use, use shared communication, configure specific settings. Use all defaults means uh, what we are uh, what we are uh, configuring in the my company, uh, we can use all those defaults here. Uh, if you if you want to uh, if you want to use the shared communication, uh, I mean shared communication means uh, in other trading partners uh, we have, I mean we can use different communication methods, right? We can use that communication method using this use shared communication. And configure specific settings. We can configure the specific settings per, for this particular trading partner. So here I'm using all defaults, which we are using the my company. So I have selected the use all defaults. And coming to the document types, uh, here we have to give the uh, document profile. And this acknowledgement section, if you want to, uh, if you want the acknowledgement from the partner, uh, we can select these options, uh, use triple line acknowledgement or use TA, TA one acknowledgement. Based on the requirement, we can select this, uh, these options. And if we want to validate the outbound transactions, uh, transaction sets, we can uh, we can select here. Uh, if we have any qualifiers, we can validate those qualifiers by using this, this checkbox. Mm -hmm. And in this document profile, uh, I'm, I have imported the uh, 850, 850 EDA profile. If we have any trackable fields, we can add those trackable trackable fields here. Coming to the archiving, if you want to archive the data, we can select this uh, select this box and we used uh, here. We can see uh, in which process we are using this trading partner. Let's uh, test the process once. So here I'm using the trading uh, disk communication, right? So we have to use the um, local item. So uh, for for every execution of, of the inbound transaction, uh, we'll get the first document as empty. We are we didn't get any uh, anything uh, in the first document. Uh, in the second in the second document only, uh, we'll get the uh, required uh, required data. So this is the required data uh, we can use for the um, further execution. Like this, uh, we can we can configure the trading partner and my company. Thank you.